Hi, I'm Steve. I'm blind. I'm gonna play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let's do this. This guy shooting at me. I don't like it. Ooh. Oh, I can hit that. Oh, I died. And now for a story. Uh, there once was a guy who walked upstairs, and there were some evil guys who wanted to kill him. So the guy shot the guy, and I died. Steve, your videos are amazing. I love watching them. <laughs> Thank you. How did you get started making YouTube videos? Well, I've been podcasting for literally about 15 years, and I just always love creating like new digital media. And I started a YouTube account in November 2005, the year YouTube actually was created. And uh, I didn't really do a lot of videos. I just kind of played around with different ideas. And then about February 2015, uh, I just decided I, I want to be able to try these Let's Plays. I kept seeing a lot of them. And I thought it'd be fun for friends to watch me be able to play these games because I'm blind and just it'd be really funny. And so I uploaded it and just shared it with a bunch of my friends. They loved it, so I kept doing more of them. And uh, it just kind of turned into a nice like uh, two years. I've just been producing these videos. It's a lot of fun. I love how it just started as you and your buddies getting together and just enjoying that. <laughs> oh, exactly. And I find that that's better. Like, it just when I can be able to make my friends laugh, that makes that means the world to me. And then being able to also entertain uh, other people as well uh, and get them really excited about uh, my videos, I, I really enjoy that too. Well, you are most famous on YouTube for being a blind gamer. So let's start with you telling us a little bit about your condition and how you play games with limited vision. Uh, well, I have a condition uh, called nystagmus, uh, and it's kind of hard to be able to see uh, on, on the cameras, but I have like uh, eyes that move back and forth, and it's just involuntary uh, eye movement. And it allows me to be able to see, uh, but not great. And I generally have to be within two feet in front of a screen in order to be able to play video games. Uh, even growing up, I was generally a watcher of video games because my brother was able to play, but I wasn't able to play that well. Uh, so I get to see him beat like a ton of games. And I find that that's actually kind of what sort of got me into the Let's Play sort of genre of YouTube because there was, I, it generally was bringing back a lot of the nostalgia of uh, being a kid, watching people play video games. So I was always interested in that, and I thought, that ah, could be fun to be able to uh, do for myself. Give it a try and yeah, see how it goes. Exactly. Well, I also have nystagmus, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Sometimes I'll have to sit a little bit closer to the screen, and I actually use what they call a null point to look on a bit of an angle to make the screen a little less blurry. So oh, okay. I definitely understand the challenges of gaming. Yes. Uh, one of the things I love most about your videos is that you weave comedy into them. Why is that so important to you? Uh, well, for me, it's, uh, I didn't want to sort of have Blind Gamer as a, oh, like, woe is me, the struggle is real kind of thing for playing video games. And I wanted to make fun of myself because it's more, it's more hilarious to watch me fail at video games than it is for me to actually do well. Uh, so if I can make fun of myself and laugh at myself, it just makes it a lot more easier to kind of open up that dialogue and a lot of people to enjoy the videos instead of just sort of being like, oh, he's just a blind gamer and, and, and he's, having, he's having all these struggles to try to get through it. So it's just, it, it just it's more funny to watch, uh, watch me fail. Well, it's one of those things where you gotta be able to laugh at yourself, right? Exactly, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. You also have a very interesting job that people might be surprised to hear that you have. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, I, uh, work, I'm a digital content producer for uh, two radio stations, uh, Boom 97.3 and 935 The Move, and I do everything in regards to the web, videos, audio production, graphic design. Uh, there's actually an ad that's been kind of all over Toronto uh, for Boom 97.3, and a lot of people are kind of surprised to know that I actually designed those. And my boss has his best line that uh, I want to be able to put on a business card, and he says, technically millions of people have seen your work except for you. I always <laughs> find that just really hilarious. I'm like, yeah, it's true. That is very cool, Steve. Thank you so much for coming in today. No, thank you. It was a pleasure. If you at home want to learn more about what Steve has on the go, check out stevesailor.net. That's Steve, S-A-Y-L-O-R.net.